Okay, so we are back now uh, where we left off. Welcome to the fourth tutorial in our landscape creation uh, series. And if you dropped the material that we created, so we have our material in here, and we're going to take our instance and we're just going to drop it on our landscape. We're going to make sure that it's selected. Then, well, this is how it's going to look which isn't too impressive, right? So we, we uh, have an all black landscape. However, if we are now going here into landscape and switch to over to paint, then our landscape materials, the layers, the three different layers that we've created should be in here. Um, if they're not, what you may have to do is once you drop the material in there, do a save all, close out of it, and then bring it back. Uh, and then it should be there. So uh, the one thing we, we still have to do is we have to click on this little plus symbol and make this a weight blended layer. And this is going to ask us where we want to save this to. And in this case, I'm going to save this straight into our materials folder. So I'm going to click OK on here. and it seems to be taking its time. There we go. And up next, we're gonna do the same thing with every single one of those materials. Weight blended layer, into the materials folder. You see this is the, this is the file that was saved. And there's gonna be another one. And now we're gonna do this a third time. Okay, here we are. So stuff has changed, but uh, well, still doesn't look so great. Now the thing is that in this particular case, we can actually already paint. So if I now click on this here, and you can you know have right here is your paint, the strength and the radius and your fall off. So uh, we can paint another material right here. Um, it's just right now. What, what we're dealing with is material scaling. This this is not set up correctly, so it just doesn't it doesn't look right, right? What we're what we're trying to create. So um, so let's go into our instances. And if you if you created a different type of material, then what's going to happen is you're going to just have to work here with a little bit of trial and error. Uh, you can also do this, you know, prior by dropping on the materials before building it out to kind of like come to the right scales. Now I have open, I've done this before and I have opened on my other monitor, you know, this very instance uh, and you know, with the with the numbers right here. So if you want to, you can take a quick screenshot of this right here, or you can just follow me through as I'm putting in those scales. So material A scale, I have set here at 35 and the rotation angle I did at 0.5 then material B is at 50 and rotation angle at 0.25 if you guys remember you know material A and material B is the same material we're just changing the scale and we're changing the rotation uh, which will uh, help us remove um, you know, remove uh, tiling. So let's see, uh, material C scale is 50. And displacement, I have here at 350. Now, th this is something you have to play with, uh, the displacement, right? Um, there is, there comes this moment when, when you're going to start to break the, um, the tessellation if you're displacing it too far. Um, and then that pattern scale, um, I have right here set at at one. So, okay. So we're gonna save this. As you can see, things have changed, right? So uh, now 
this is what I painted on earlier, all right? So, you know, this is my C material here, all right? And you can see how I'm changing this material now as I'm painting this on. And here's the two different scales. of the other materials so you can see right there how I'm taking out the various um, you know that the patterning and, and the the pattern size right this here that we created that also helps us very much so let's let's get up here a little bit take a look at what happened so this is if you guys remember this is what we brought over from the gold material right and that that is kind of like the the stuff that that really hides the tiling really well let's i'm gonna turn this off so i'm just gonna bring this in here so you can see this so i'm just gonna set this to zero because you see right there immediately when this is set to zero how the tiling shows up right uh but this this works really well and you can mess with that so it's like a 0.5 right or 10 well 10 is maybe a little too big but um i did also notice and i'm gonna try this let me see what size that was um there is if you can find the right size There it is. So this is now point 0.1. So if if you do something like that, now there is a thing called a panner node, which permits you to move textures. And I'm thinking that what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to attach a panner to this and let this here run over the landscape, and it should create an effect like clouds moving over the landscape because it now starts to look like you know this pattern is starting to look like a cloud shadow pattern so uh so there's different options that you have right with this kind of stuff so now in this obvious case um where let me just put this back to one uh so obviously right now you know we just have and again, you know, if you need to change the speed, you just adjust it right here. So obviously what's happening here, if this is a real, let me just save this, close out of it. So if this is a real uh, environment, then um, most likely you would have rock showing through right here because, you know, it, because this, you know, the steepness of the angle. So that's where we would take the, the rock pattern and we'd start paint that in. Alright, so you can see right there immediately it's gonna make a difference. And of course it's gonna be then up to you how how precise you want to be with this. Um because it also depends on how how close you're going to be to a certain region, right? If if you're if you're close to something you, you want to spend more time uh, doing this but if you are if you are just far away like I mean if, if, if this is just back there then you know I'm done I, I don't need to paint this out in more detail here but you know it's like just just lay it in roughly like that will do do me just fine but if you if you end up being closer then you know you're gonna need to you need to work harder on it right with more detail right? as, as you can see right here okay well this um this is now how you paint this um so happy landscape painting and you can see now we're, we're we are getting somewhere so um hope you enjoyed that and you know, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.